So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was 24 years old, he accepted the renounced order of life so he could freely go everywhere and anywhere to give this gift of prema. And then he returned to Jagannath Puri. Soon after he returned, there was the celebration of Snan Yatra. Lord Chaitanya was so excited to see this wonderful festival. It's one day of the year when Lord Jagannath, Baladeva and Subhadra are publicly bathed with wonderful offerings. So Lord Chaitanya was so much looking forward to the Snan Yatra. And as Lord Chaitanya was Ananda, he was in ecstasy. But then traditionally every year after the bathing ceremony is Anabasara. During this time, Anabasara, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he couldn't bear the separation of not seeing Lord Jagannath. For him to see the temple, which he would go in so many times to the, in the, every day, and not see his beloved Jagannath. In the mood of Sri Radha, his separation was just like the gopis after Krishna left Vrindavan for Mathura. He couldn't stay in Puri. He went to a place some miles away called Alalanath, or Alarnath, near the ocean side. And there, there's a deity of Lord Jagannath, a different type of deity of Jagannath, that's been worshipped there for a long, long time. And in separation of Jagannath and Puri, even if you go there today, you will see their stones where he would lay down thinking of Krishna in such deep love, in viraha, bhav, separation, that the stones melted and every limb of his body is still imprinted in those stones. He was just there remembering Jagannath, chanting the names of Jagannath in total absorption. And then Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya, Nityananda Prabhu, they came to him and said, there are 200 of the devotees coming from Bengal. They're just arriving in Puri. And he became so excited, so excited to be united with his, with his devotees that he left Alarnath and he came to Puri. The king, Pratapa was on the roof of his palace. And Gopinath Acharya and Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya were two very great intimate devotees of Lord Chaitanya. And the king, he had just been introduced. Sarvabhoma said, I want you to see these devotees who are coming. You see, they're over there near Narendra Srovara, a lake. And here's Lord Chaitanya, and he's sending Swarup Ramadar Goswami and Govinda to give garlands to greet them, and soon he's going to greet them all. And the king saw these personalities. He said, who are they? I've been the king here for so many years in this holy place of Puri and I've seen so many saints and sadhus and babas and pilgrims coming but I've never seen people like this. They look so happy and they look so full of light and they're singing. The way they dance and the way they're chanting. I've seen tens and thousands of Sankirtan parties but I've never seen anything like this. And Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya said, this is the special feature of what Lord Chaitanya has come to give the world. It is called Prem Sankirtan. It's not just the chanting of the names of God, but it's the chanting of the names of the Lord in pure ecstatic love for the Lord. And he began to explain each of the devotees, beautiful qualities they each had. King Prataparuja said, what's happening there? I'm seeing people running here. And he said, they're arranging prasad. Lord Chaitanya is arranging prasad for everybody. And King Prataparuja said, how is this? People come to a holy place of pilgrimage. You're supposed to fast for the first day. And you asking me to get all this maha prasad arranged? And they told the king that, why do people fast? Because the Lord tells them to fast. <laughs> when they come to a holy place. If the Lord tells you to eat <laughs> prasad, then that's the highest dharma. The rules and regulations is only to please the Supreme Lord. So the Lord wants to feed his devotees with his own hands. So there's beautiful stories about how the Lord met all the devotees and gave each one of them garlands and 
embraced them and put sandalwood pulp on them and arranged personal residences for each one of them. Each one was clean. He gave personal assistance to each devotee that came. And he arranged wonderful prasad, Jagannath prasad, and so much prasad. Really nice, too. And then they all came to his room first, and he greeted each one personally. And the, the loving exchanges of each individual devotee and Lord Chaitanya are described so nicely. He was praising each devotee, and each devotee was so humbled. The Lord would say to Vasudev Dutt that even though I was intimate friends with your brother Mukunda, I feel even more close to you. <laughs> And Vasudev said, oh, actually, you knew my brother first, so therefore he's senior to me. <laughs> and each one is putting themselves in a lowly position. They're being exalted in a higher position by the Lord, but they themselves are always putting themselves in a lower position than all the other devotees. This is Vaishnav competition. It's quite inconceivable. And it's not that that putting oneself in a lowly position is some sort of you know psychotic inferiority complex it's a symptom of love that you put yourself lower to someone because you just appreciate that person so much it's your greatest happiness to be the servant inferior feeling yourself inferior to that person and krishna loves that feeling in his devotees lord chaitanya asks where is marari gupta and marari gupta was hiding he said i don't deserve to be close to you and lord chaitanya took him and put him on his lap <laughs> instead of cleaning his body and praising Marari and Marari said no no I don't deserve to be touched by you and Lord Chaitanya said I'm touching you only to purify myself and Lord Chaitanya said where's Haridas Thakur and they said he's down the road offering his obeisances in the dust and Lord Chaitanya said go bring him Someone ran out to Haridas Thakur, Lord Chaitanya wants you to come. He said, I'm not qualified to come. I can't be so close to the temple. I'm an abominable person. And they came back and brought that message to Lord Chaitanya. And he accepted. This is his love. And he went through so much arrangements. He told Kashi Mishra, I want a little place right in the garden near the Jagannath temple. He said, yes, yes, I will arrange. And then Lord Chaitanya went out to where Haridas was. And Haridas was laying down in obeisance, and Lord Chaitanya picked him up and embraced him. And the dialogue between them was so sweet. Lord Chaitanya gave Haridas a little cottage in a garden just next to the temple. He said, you chant here, and you look at the chakra on the top of the temple, and you will see Jagannath there. It and every day I will come and meet you. And I will arrange prasadam for you each day. And he did. Every day he would come and spend hours with Haridas Thakur. And then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, soon after, he called Kashi Misha Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya and the superintendent of Jagannath Temple and said that Jagannath is soon going to do the Ratiyacha Kuntukundicha. That's the destination where he will stay about a week. He said, I want to clean the temple with my devotees. Please arrange whatever is required to clean the temple. Kashi Misha said, it's not really befitting you to clean, but whatever you wish we will do. <laughs> <laughs>